Early in the movie, we learn that according to chaos theory, something as small as a butterfly snout could cause a disaster on the other side of the world. A guy named Evan Trayborn bursts into a medical office, locking the door behind him. The hero leaves a note in which he hopes he can save her. The action shifts to 13 years ago. Young Evan talks to his mother and asks if his father will come to school. Andrea reminds the boy that the man cannot be released even for one day. A woman takes her son to school, after which the teacher decides to talk to her. Andrea sees her son's creepy drawing and cries, after which she decides to act. The doctor advises Evan to write a diary so that he won't have any more memory lapses. Andrea hopes that her son has not inherited her husband's disease. A few days later, the hero writes that he will go to visit Tommy and Kelly and will be able to see what it is like to have a father. Andrea leaves to get her purse, and when she returns to the kitchen, she sees that Evan has a gun in his hand. The boy regains consciousness and frightenedly says he doesn't remember the last couple minutes. Andrea calms the hero down and takes him to George, the father of his friends, Kelly and Tommy. The man brings Evan to the lawn and informs him that they will be making a movie today, but it must remain their secret. The hero has another memory lapse, after which he realizes that he is in the basement with Kelly without clothes. Tommy watches them fiercely, treating the doll aggressively. Meanwhile, Andrea learns that the examination results are negative. Evan has no pathologies. The doctor believes that the lapses in memory are caused by stress and advises the woman to take her son to his father. Perhaps this will help Evan to get rid of complexes and the memory problem will disappear. A few days later, Andrea takes the boy to a treatment center. Evan writes in his diary that he will meet his father Jason today. The conversation begins quite calmly. Jason asks his son not to be afraid of him and asks about the pictures. After a moment, however, Evan sees his father hurting him. One of the guards tries to disarm Jason, which has fatal consequences. During the final goodbye to his father, Evan is supported by Kelly. The action moves forward six years. A grown-up Evan draws Kelly sitting next to him. Tommy wanders unhappily around the room, but finally finds what he's been looking for, a squib. The teens decide to use it and choose a mailbox in one of the houses to do so. Tommy demands that Lenny put the squib there. The guy actively refuses, but Evan helps him with the fuse, and there is no turning back. When Lenny returns, Kelly gives him an inhaler, and the hero encourages him for his courage. Together, the teens wait for the explosion. The next moment, Evan is already running through the woods with a shocked Lenny on his shoulders. Andrea interrogates her son about what happened, and the boy swears that he had a memory lapse. A woman brings Evan to a doctor, who with the help of semi-hypnosis tries to help the guy remember what happened to him. The hero remembers the red car, after which his blood pressure rises and the blood vessels in his nose burst. The doctor puts Evan in a state of wakefulness, realizing that he has failed. A few days later, the hero goes to the movies with Kelly and her brother. When Evan asks a question about the mailbox, Tommy pounces on him and orders him to keep quiet about the incident. During the movie, Kelly runs out of the auditorium. Tommy follows her and sees the marks on the girl's shoulder, punishment from Josh. Evan comforts Kelly, saying she deserves better. The heroes kiss, and a pissed-off Tommy sees this. One of the visitors trips him up, causing Kelly's brother to brutalize him. Andrea drives the girl home, and then informs her son that they are moving to another town. The next day, Kelly and Evan decide to visit Lenny. The guy is not very happy to see his friends, but still decides to take a walk, having learned that Tommy is not with them. Walking through the junkyard, the heroes notice a strange smoke and speed up their step. Tommy stuffs Evan's dog into a bag and starts dousing it with gasoline. The hero tries to stop him, but faints again. Waking up, Evan sees that he did not have time to save his pet. After a while, the hero gets into the car to leave his town forever. Kelly runs after him, and Evan has time only to show a leaf with the inscription, I'll be back for you. The action moves forward another seven years. Now Evan is an outstanding student who studies psychology and plans to make a breakthrough in research on the workings of memory. After studying, the hero comes to his room and invites his friend Thumper to celebrate an incredible event, seven years without memory lapses. During a game of pool, 
Evan tells the girls that he is trying to study the memory of a simple worm to then understand how it works in humans. The hero brings one beautiful girl home, and the girl asks to read his diaries. However, when Evan reads the entry, it is as if he is transported to the day when Tommy destroyed his dog. Waking up, the hero cannot get rid of the strange feeling caused by the words of Kelly's brother and goes to the town where he spent his childhood. First of all, Evan comes to Lenny and asks him to remember about the day at the dump. The guy repeats Tommy's words, and the hero realizes that what happened to him was not a dream. Evan returns home and reads his diary again, this time remembering the incident with the squib. The first thing the hero gets a small burn, having glimpsed a woman with a child in a red car approaching the house. The woman decides to open the mailbox, and a terrible tragedy occurs, which Lenny watches in shock. Evan wakes up in his room and sees the scar that has appeared. The hero tries to talk to Lenny again, but his mother thinks it's a bad idea. At dinner with Andrea, Evan learns that his father often talked about how he learned to see his past and change it. Thumper tries to dissuade the hero from reading the diaries, but it doesn't work. Evan is determined to find out what really happened in his childhood. The hero comes back to his town and sees a grown-up Kelly working as a waitress. Evan chats with the excited girl and offers to walk her home. The hero begins to ask Kelly about the incident when her father decided to make a movie with them. This conversation pisses off the girl. She cries and runs away, unable to believe that Evan came back just for that. Soon the hero receives a message from Tommy because it turns out that after the dialogue, Kelly decided to take her own life. Evan comes to say goodbye to the girl and leaves her the very note that says, I will come back for you. The hero decides to dive into a memory from his childhood, determined to try to change the past and save Kelly. George leads the children to the basement and orders his daughter to undress. From the stairs, Tommy watches silently. Evan asks the girl to cover her ears and speaks rudely to George. The hero offers two ways, one in which the man will inflict his daughter with a psychological trauma because of which the girl will take her own life in the future and the other in which George will treat her with respect as a father to his daughter and not as a lover. In addition, Evan advises to pay more attention to Tommy, who grows up a real sadist. After that, the hero wakes up, trying to realize whether he managed to change the past. Suddenly, Evan's head is flooded with alternate memories of his life. Kelly, who wakes up next to him, asks the hero to wash up, as they have to go to class soon. Evan talks to the girl, and realizes that George sold the camera on the same day, which means that the events have really changed. Tupper doesn't recognize him and treats him rather aggressively. Evan stops being one of the first students, as evidenced by the teacher's attitude. His best friend turns out to be the guy who used to insult Taper in the bar. Evan realizes that the father began to treat Kelly better, because of which the girl was able to come to him after the move. The next day, the hero mushes the pledges of the Brotherhood, not really understanding how to do it. In the evening, Evan arranges a surprise for his beloved, realizing that all metamorphoses can be experienced while the girl is near him. However, the pleasant moment is spoiled by the fact that someone crashes the hero's car. Evan realizes that it was Tommy. Back home, Kelly tells her that her brother was released from prison a few days ago, and maybe he decided to start his revenge. When the heroes take a walk in the park, they are attacked by Tommy. Evan, obsessed with the desire to punish the guy for what happened to his dog and Lenny, uses a bat for revenge and greatly overreaches with force. After this incident, the hero himself goes to prison. In the cell, he meets Carlos, who advises to detach himself from what is happening. Andrea brings his son only two diaries, and Evan realizes that this can end badly for him. Local hooligans take them away too, leaving only a few leaves. Evan decides to enlist Carlos' help and goes back in time to the time he drew the strange drawing. The hero traumatizes himself in the past and becomes scarred in the present. Evan comes to the two bullies for the diaries and agrees to their creepy terms of exchange. However, the hero manages to destroy them and with Carlos' help, reads his notes. They transport him back to the day of the incident with the dog. Evan gives Lenny a gun and asks him to atone for the squib by cutting the rope. The hero manages to negotiate with Tommy on his own, and the bully lets the dog go. However, Lenny attacks the guy and takes his life. After that, 
The past changes, causing Evan's brain to be overloaded with memories for several lifetimes. The hero manages to sneak into Lenny's room. The guy accuses Evan of being the one who set everything up in such a way. The hero agrees, realizing that he really should be in Lenny's shoes. Afterward, Evan goes back into the flashback with Jason. His father assures him that the past is only changing for the worse and attacks the guy. Evan visits Kelly and realizes that in this reality, she is selling herself for money to other men. The hero tells the girl about his experience, so she knows that in another world she was happy with him. Kelly is angry and advises that it would be better to save that woman with the baby. Maybe then Lenny would not have gone crazy and attacked Tommy. Upset by the failures, Evan banishes Thumper and reads the diary again. In the flashback, Tommy throws himself at the woman to save her from the explosion, but the hero gets caught in the middle of the blast. In the new universe, Evan finds himself disabled and watches Lenny dating Kelly. The hero communicates with the girl and learns a strange fact. Kelly could have lived with her mother, but she refused in order to be closer to him. The girl admits that Evan was the first person she fell in love with. However, now Kelly is dating Lenny, and there is nothing to change. After this conversation, Evan tries to take his own life, but he is saved by Tommy. The hero, seeing his sick mother, decides to change the past again by destroying the squib. Evan is once again transported to the movie set and sets the squib on fire. However, he is picked up by Kelly. Waking up, the hero realizes that he is in a ward. Evan demands diaries from the doctor, but the doctor says they never existed and it's a psychic defense reaction. It turns out that his father also demanded a photo album. Evan guesses that it's possible to travel with more than just text. The hero asks his mother for camera footage from his childhood. At night, he sneaks into the study and revisits the scene of meeting Kelly. Evan scares her on purpose and the future changes. Kelly grows up with her mom and he himself is friends with Lenny. The hero burns the diaries. After a while, he sees Kelly on the street, but realizes he has to pass her by. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.